Hey, what's up, YouTube? Well, this morning I thought I'd give you guys an update because uh, when we did the bus build, one of the things that we got questions about was using house windows in a bus. So um, I'm having some problems with one of them. So I thought I'd give you guys an update and show you what's going on with the one I'm having issues with. And, but basically overall, um, they've been working out fine so far. I don't know how long the seals on them are gonna last because of the elevation changes that we're putting them through, but I knew that going in, so I'm willing to uh, deal with however that shakes out. But one of them, the one of the stops keeps coming off and you can't get it to close. So I'm gonna fix that this morning because um, some silicone became available for another job they were doing in camp. They had to seal one of the guy's windshields. So I was like, hey, if I can use a little dab of that, I can glue my stop back in. Other than that, this is the only problem that I've had so far. And also, I always like to mention that, yeah, we used housed windows, but we special ordered them with tempered safety glass in them. So I highly discourage people from using house windows that don't have safety glass for, you know, the... If you're in an accident, you got glass shards flying around that could really mess you up. So anyhow, I'm going to go back here and pull this window out and I'll show you guys what's going on. Maybe some of you don't know that, uh, you know, how to get the sliders out of your windows. But basically up in the top of it, there's a block that keeps it from coming out. So let me show you that. I got the camera upside down, but here's the slider open there's a block up in there that keeps the window from going up and that's how it comes out so if you slide the window when it's over here it won't come out because it hits that block up in the header but if you slide it over here it'll come up and out see it pushes up in the top and then the bottom swings out and then this whole sliding unit it'll just come out <laughs> So basically this molding right here, you can see it just pops out and it pops out when it's in place in there. See, it barely has any snap left to it, but it's the only one that's doing that so far. I don't know if this is going to become a bigger problem in the future. But basically what I'm going to do is just uh, clean that up. I'm going to put some silicone in there and glue that stop in place so that it keep that it, so it quits uh, popping in and out on me. Let's get all the dust off of this guy. So this is just a, a black automotive room temperature. That's what RTV means, room temperature vulcanization, which basically means it'll dry at room temperature, cure out. It takes silicone like 12 to 24 hours to cure out. But what I'm going to do is just, I'm actually going to put some back here in the crack where that pushes into. like that and I'm going to run another bead out here for it to bed down into I squirted it in where the stops going to go and then I I made an additional bead out here for it to grab underneath and so now this thing just has that little leg that will snap in there and if I'm lucky, I can do it without squirting stuff all over. Wow. I think I pulled that off pretty good. Not much ooze out anywhere, just a little bit right there. So that should take care of that problem, I hope. I can just go put that back in. So to go back in, 
just has to be on this side of that block. That'll let it push up into the top. And then the bottom just falls into the track and let it back down. So there you go. Anyhow, the real situation is I haven't done anything there that I can't go back and clean that out and redo it if I have to. So we'll see how that works out. Basically, like I said, I really haven't had any issues with any of the other windows so far. And they're going on being in here for at least a year and a half, maybe two years. But it does make me nervous down here in the desert. It gets so hot, you can smell the vinyl on those windows. So basically, there's an update for you on the house windows with the tempered glass installed in a bus. Um, back here, you can see like the scenario right now is it's going to be 90 something today. So we got those... Uh, blackout blinds but they're also they have insulation cells in them when we got the sun coming on that side if we take the other side and ventilate the other side so this is the cool side over here if we keep it open and uh, you can literally just when you lift those up you can just feel this wave of heat pop in on you so i hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight as to how our windows are working so far so good I think I just fixed that one little stop issue that I have. If that develops into more of an issue, I'll deal with it as it happens. So anyways, I hope you guys are having lots of uh, luck and good times with the projects in your lives. Hope you have lots of friends and family to share love and joy with and that you just have an amazing, awesome day. Catch you in the next video.